Hello, I'm Stuart Bloor. I'm on the canal, perch fishing. It's a lovely day. My thermometer's been in the water since I arrived a few minutes ago. 6.9 Celsius, the highest temperature I've fished in so far this year. Really looking forward to it. Let's hope I can catch some fish for the camera. Caught my first fish, really pleased with that because the day has become quite nice now with the uh, original overcast uh, sky becoming quite clear so not ideal conditions for perch so happy to catch that. I didn't film it on camera because I had a couple of people talking to me and they were quite loud and uh, didn't sort of really get the sensitivity that they needed to be quiet while I was filming but nevertheless that's okay, they were nice enough people, I've got the fish, that's what really counts. Float's just gone under. It's a perch. Only a small one though. Just a few ounces. A lovely fish. Hold that up for the camera there. It's very feisty. As you can see, beautiful fish, isn't it? They're great, aren't they, perch? Float's gone again. I'm into another perch. A little bit better. I think I'll need the net for this one. It's not as big as the first one I caught though. Yes. In the net. I'm a perch magnet. Just tweeted that on my Twitter. Green and black army. There it is. As I said, a little bit bigger than the second fish I caught, but not as big as the first one. Still a beautiful fish though. I love perch, they're great. Session number two, back on the canal, but I'm in a, a new spot this time. I've just put the ledger rod out, so that's fishing now, and I'm setting up my float rod. As I say, a new spot, I do catch some good perch from the canal, but I'm sure there are plenty more in here, well spread throughout it. And the only way you find out is by trying somewhere new. And I think there's always a sense of excitement when you fish a new place. How do you know where to fish? People often ask me, where do I start on the canal? Well, it's not rocket science, just basic watercraft. Have a walk along the canal, the local canal, wherever you are. Look for features. It might be a a bridge or an old structure that's still left there alongside the canal jutting out maybe into the water look for overhanging trees brambles in fact that's where I'm fishing now on the far bank there's a little bit of vegetation all the way along but more importantly right opposite me is a deep clump of brambles hanging over the canal as well even now before they started to grow so that's where I'm fishing too Got the one rod out, ledger rod, fishing worm on both rods, and then I'll have the float one out in a moment. And, as I say, very often, hopefully, we'll get amongst the fish. I've just seen my first ladybird of the year, and here it is, I'm gonna hold it up to the camera. It's on my wedding band there, just about make it out. It's called a seven spot ladybird, that's the name of the species, which, Unsurprisingly, it has seven spots, although sometimes it might not always have seven, but this one actually does have seven spots. So, first ladybird of the year, well pleased with that. And I've just spotted a white dead nettle in flower as well, just hanging over the canal, so I'm going to capture that on film as well. Just had my first run on the 
ledger rod. Unfortunately, didn't uh, connect with the fish, but that's encouraging. I've been here a while. Not surprised it's been quiet though. A little bit earlier, Steve Williams came along and we were chatting, and a lady was walking her dogs on the far bank, and the uh, one of them came in the canal and went swimming right through my uh, swim up and down. Unbelievable, really. As anglers, we all have these uh, stories to tell, don't we? And uh, she just waited for the dog to come out and just walked off without even saying sorry. Uh, Steve actually said, do you think you'll get an apology? And uh, I said, I don't know. Didn't get one. Unbelievable. But uh, that's people for you, isn't it? We have to put up with people, I guess. Hopefully, though, it's quieting down now. Get amongst the fish. At last I'm into a fish. Oh no, it's a pike. <laughs> Would you believe it? <laughs> it's a pike. Do you know what? It's foul looked as well. <laughs> it's only a small one, a small jack. Fancy that. Well, I'm still a blanket because I don't count foul looks. There it is anyway. Just a small jack, as you can see. Foul looked in the tail. Stepping back a little bit. Well, leaning back a little bit. I never stand up with my fish. Right, let's get you back. Finally got one. It's a perch as well. Just a small fish. But hey, I'm not a blanker. That's what really counts. I'm just glad to know there's some perch in this particular section. There it is. As you can see, I've got the brolly up now. It's raining, you can probably hear that. Just a small fish, but a great one nevertheless. I think this one deserves a kiss. Second fish. Coming thick and fast now. Just a small one though. Probably a shoal of them in the swim. Hopefully the bigger ones will come in though. That's what I really want. I hope you've enjoyed the video. It's time for me to finish. I've had to put the light on the camcorder. It gets dark early, doesn't it, when it rains and it becomes quite overcast. Check out my Angling Journal website. Number of links on there. If you're on Facebook, then check out the page for my Angling Journal. If you're on Twitter, follow me. I do tweet from the water's edge, so as I catch, I put the fish on there. And I also share my life as well, so everything about me you can find out on Twitter. Check out the website though, there's lots of stuff on there, videos and articles. And if ever you can't get out fishing, next best thing is to read about it and be encouraged that way.